Hello everyone, what's up and welcome to the Mendix Houses. Today I'm going to be talking about Mendix Data Hub. Mendix Data Hub is an open metadata catalog or data sharing platform and it now has a freemium license. Sometimes it may be the case that you want to connect an external database to Data Hub which doesn't support OData. So how can we get these systems loaded into the catalog and make them easily accessible for the rest of your organization? Well, in situations like these, it may be required to do some custom configuration to get it working. So welcome to this tutorial on how to integrate an external SQL database into Mendix Data Hub using a Java OData wrapper. Before we begin, it is the official Mendix advice that any OData wrappers built for Data Hub should be based on .NET development. This is because it has more robust documentation and wider public support. The code I will share is written in Scala and Java. In addition, the code in this video should not be used as the basis for any production app. It is purely built to illustrate the concept. And finally, this is not a simple task. Before you proceed, I recommend you have a thorough understanding of OData, Microsoft SQL, Data Hub, and you are able to read and understand Scala code. With that being said, in this video, we are going to be making use of a few resources. So make sure you have everything you need before we get going. You are going to need sample applications for this how-to issued in the .zip file below. You will also need to have JDK 11 installed on your device. In order to run it, you will need SBT, which is the build tool. You will also need a Microsoft SQL database, which you can connect to. You can find all the links you need in the description below. So how does this actually work? Let's have a look at the architecture behind this. As SQL databases do not directly support OData, it is necessary to convert the incoming OData requests into SQL queries and then return the proper OData response. For this, we created a custom OData wrapper in Java and Scala. The wrapper uses the Apache Olingo library to handle the OData requests and responses and creates a compatible metadata.xml file which you can upload to the Data Hub catalog. It will then create an external entity which you can access in your company's Mendix apps. When an app makes a request for data, it sends an OData request to the Java application, which interprets the request and fetches the required data from an external SQL table, and it then returns the records as an OData response. So let's take a look at the example app provided in the .zip file called OData Service Example Master. This app is going to convert the OData queries into SQL queries and provide the needed responses. Before we can run the app, we first need to update the application.config file. We will have to update the connection string, the username, and the password for the database user. Once that's done, make sure to save the file and open the application in the console. Mine is already running, so I'll shut it down. And then to start it, um, you can type SBT run, or if you're already logged into SBT, you can just type run. Once it's running, the application will start on your local host port 9000. So to view this, we can go into the browser and we're going to navigate to localhost 9000 um, forward slash service forward slash your database name. And then we're going to put this forward slash dollar sign metadata on the end and hit enter. So this is the metadata.xml file, which you are going to have to upload to data. So make sure to save this somewhere you can find it easily. After you have the metadata.xml file, we can continue and register the external entity in the Data Hub catalog. Simply go to Data Hub and select to register an OData data source. Um, so we're going to scroll down to we're going to scroll down to register a data source, and we're going to select OData. We can then upload the XML file we captured previously. And you can then continue to step through the wizard as is normal on Data Hub. If you have trouble with this, you can check the documentation page linked below for some more information. Once you have the service registered in the catalog, you can now add the entity into your Mendix app as you do any other external entity from Data Hub. 
So find the entity in the Data Hub tab. Uh, you may need to enable development environments to find it, but simply drag the entity into your domain model. Once it's imported, we just have to apply some access rules to this. So we want the user to be able to read everything here. Select OK. Next, we need to generate some overview pages. So we can just right click on that and say generate overview pages. We want the Atlas top bar the content layout. Select OK. Now that's generated our pages. We need to add some access rights to these as well. So click the page, select properties and go to user. Same for the pop-up page. And then we need to connect this to our navigation. So we're gonna add a new item called people. Give it a icon of user. And we want to show a page, which is the overview page. There we go. Once we log in, you can see the data which is retrieved from the SQL database. With Data Hub adding their freemium license, maybe it's time you connect those external systems online so that your team can easily and safely access all their data in one place. I hope you enjoyed this how-to. For more information on getting started with Mendix Data Hub, go to academy.mendix.com and you can get started on the Data Hub learning path. That's all for now. Until next time, go make it.